Good morning. I'm Dr. Ted Rothstein, Brooklyn Heights orthodontist. Today we have the representative from Propel Orthodontics here today, and we're going to be demonstrating on me the use of the Propel technique for accelerated orthodontics. My assistant Brian will be doing the propelling technique. He's going to make two micro osteoperforations to the distal of my upper right canine and to the mesial. We're going to um, first try it using topical anesthesia and then if that proves to be uncomfortable for me, I'm going to have Brian give me a uh, local anesthetic. So with that, we can begin. So thank you, I hope you enjoy this. Good morning, hi, this is Dr. Rothstein again. Paul Andriani from Propel is here, and he's just going to introduce himself before we begin the procedure, and hopefully maybe he'll have something to say as we do it. So Paul, it's up to you. Good morning, I'm Paul Andriani with Propel Orthodontics, and we're here today at the orthodontic office of Dr. Ted Rothstein uh, to do a Propel treatment on Dr. Rothstein, and we're going to see how he does when we're done. Thank you. Open. All right. Thanks, Paul. Hello. We're going to start the procedure on Dr. Rothstein. And first thing we're going to do um, after we set him up is we're going to apply some topical in the areas that we're going to be doing, me mesial and distal to his canine. So we're going to get him comfortable. We're going to dry the area thoroughly, and then we're going to apply the topical. Are you okay? I'm hearing high. Mm -hmm. Yes, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Drying the area, removing the topical, and then we're going to get Dr. Rothstein ready for the procedure. And we're just drying the topical off. And we'll move it thoroughly. And then we're going to go back and set our timer. Yeah, and make sure that the area is anesthetized. And Dr. Rothstein will be comfortable for the procedure. We'll see if he feels it. Do you feel that, Dr. Ted? Mm, no. You feel that? Well, it's not painful. Okay. He okay. Feels that. Okay. We'll make just need him let us sit a little okay. bit longer and then we'll be able to proceed. So now we've uh, anesthetized uh, the gingiva for Dr. Rothstein, so, and there is nerve endings, and we have to anesthetize the tissue thoroughly. Uh, the bone has no nerve endings, so we think we've accomplished that. So we're going to begin the treatment. Brian is going to be inserting the device and rotating it into three millimeters, mesial and distal, to the, the target tooth that we're, we're doing. So we're ready to start. rotated in a little light pressure. So this is the propel driver that we're going to be using on Dr. Rothstein and it has a very easy release mechanism and we're going to put in our disposable tip. It just inserts and locks into the driver and we will be rotating this driver into the first line so that we will be able to propel Dr. Rothstein's cane on on either side and we're going to make two propels a mesial and distal to that and we're going to be using this device. Okay, so 90 degree angle as possible. We're gonna rotate in. We're gonna to go to the first black line with a little bit of light pressure. And that'll let us know we're at three millimeters of depth. And that's our target for this particular tooth. And we'll see how Dr. Ronstein's doing. I see, I see the two holes. Yep. How do you how are you doing, Dr. Rothstein? Are you okay, sir? 
Excellent. Good. Okay. okay. He's good. And then it's 90 degrees as possible, Brian. And we're going to do the other two. There it is. Our propel marks, three millimeters, mesial and distal. And how are we doing, Dr. Rothstein? I'm doing fine. Okay. You're doing fine, okay. I, yes. Good. We'll just uh, take that off. We'll do the uh, cotton roll. It's a little bit of pressure, but usually no pain in the gingiva. Usually we can stop the bleeding with just a cotton roll or a piece of gauze. And that's it. Most will just require a topical uh, anesthetic uh, to keep the patient comfortable. And we recommend taking two Tylenol after the procedure and two Tylenol at night if we're still feeling any localized sensitivity. And generally that's it. Next day, we never know we did it and we're, we're fine. Uh, nothing strong will be required. And we ask the patients to please stay away from Advil or aspirin-based products because they are anti-inflammatories. And this procedure, we're looking for the inflammation to help us with our tooth movement. So that's our goal. By and large, most adults could easily tolerate this procedure with just a topical. Expected to to have have even more discomfort, but I didn't. And um, right now, the uh, the topical is is still um, uh, working. Uh, what's the name of the topical that we use? Triple A topical. Triple A made by. Does it say? Nuva Vista Dental. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap. So thank you, um, Tiana, who is our uh, camera person. Right. So uh, you did a great job and. When we put it all together, you'll get a credit. Screen credit. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'd like to thank Paul Andriani for coming down today from Propel and um, showing us and uh, narrating the story of um, accelerated orthodontics using the Propel instrument. So, thanks, Paul. Take care. I really want to thank Dr. Rothstein, Brian, and Tiana for inviting me here uh, to work with them on the Propel procedure. Uh, I think it went very well. Dr. Rothstein is up and smiling, so that's that's a good thing. Brian was very com Dr. Brian was very comfortable in doing the procedure, and Tiana was great in doing the camera work and helping us. So uh, I appreciate it, and I want to thank them very much uh, for their help in us in promoting in the use of Propel. Thank, thank you all very much. Thank you so much for coming, Paul. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.